Welcome back to RC Rewired. So today I'm pretty excited. I finally have all the components to do a dually beadlock setup with no glue whatsoever. And I'm gonna teach you how to do that. I've teased it in the comments a couple times, uh, but I finally have all the components needed to make this happen. So today we're gonna dive into that. All right, let's do it. So the key to this whole thing is gonna be these M2 hex couplers. Um, they are gonna have different sizes and I've figured out the right combination of using two of them in order to have that nice wheel offset, I guess, for the second dually. So I'll show you how to make that work. Well, first things first, we're gonna have to mount all of the tires onto the actual beadlocks themselves. So with this, I'm going with the stamp steel beadlocks to be the inner uh, dually wheel. And then I'm doing the classic eight hole beadlocks as the outside. So it'll be kind of like that. You won't ever be able to see that we've got the stamped on the inside. We'll just have the really nice looking eight holes. Oh yeah. So let's get to it. Now I'm sure we've all installed tires onto beadlocks before, but in case you haven't, this is how it works with the RC four wheel drive beadlocks. Now most of them are gonna look like this on the back and they'll have those four uh, screws that will hold the beadlocks together. The stamp beadlocks are a little different. They just use the uh, screws that are in front here. Um, so there's none in the back. It's a little bit simpler of a design. So we're gonna take these screws out being careful not to lose them. I apologize for the wind. It is kind of a stormy day today. All right, so once you have the screws out, you're gonna disassemble the beadlocks and you need the inner rim here, the inner ring. You're gonna take a tire, and you're gonna put that ring on the inside of it. You want it centered as much as possible. So there is a little bead on the inside of the tire that you're gonna wanna get um, securely wrapped in there. You'll notice that the ring just wants to perfectly sit in that bead um, and that's basically the goal. So once that's in there, you're gonna take your hub, put it back through gently All right, and we're gonna take the back end, line up the holes, pop it over top, and we're gonna start wrenching it down. You only wanna really give it a little bit of a start, so it just bites, and you wanna get all four of those in there before you start torquing them down. And much like real wheels, when you're installing them to your car, you want to do it in kind of a star pattern if possible. There we are. So now that we got all four in, we can start torquing it down. You only want to do a little bit at a time to each screw. You want that, uh, you want it to lock into the bead evenly across the entire tire so that it doesn't push it out in any part of it. there all right good to go and that looks pretty good we don't have a bulge anywhere the tire looks nice all right 
I would say that is a success. Now, one other thing you'll want to kind of take a mental note of, some tires have directional tread patterns, so it will matter which way you mount it to the rim. So that way, all of your wheels are going in the same direction. Um, I don't think I'm gonna really worry about that with these because they don't seem to really have too much of a directional tread pattern. They're kind of symmetrical on both sides, so. All right, let's get all the other ones done and get them on the truck. Ooh, see that? That's no good, you gotta fix that. Much better. Torque it back down, we'll be good to go. All right, something I discovered rather quickly, the stamp steel bead locks from RC four wheel drive are not nearly as easy to put together as their nicer sets. So these ones, you take apart the screws, this little back piece that is gonna hold your hex comes off and then it separates into two pieces. So you kind of do have to do that squish technique, getting it back together. Once you get that first one in, it's gonna be a whole lot easier getting the rest of them in. Just a heads up if you guys are ordering some of those stamp steel bead locks, if you can manage to find them. Seems like they are the hardest thing to come by these days. That and the uh, mudslinger tires. Let me know if you guys have tried those out. Do you guys like the mudslingers? Have you been able to get your hands on any? I think I might have forgotten to mention it, but these are the BF Goodrich tires. Um, I'm pretty excited about them because they have a really nice look to them and I really think this is going to be a perfect addition to the Dually setup.
All right, now that we have all of the tires mounted onto the bead locks, we can move on to making the dually setup. So that's gonna require these M2 hex couplers. Um, I found them on Amazon, they're like $10 for this whole set. And you'll need a couple extra hex um, uh, wheel hexes uh, so that you can mount it to the end of one of your brass couplers. So um, let me go ahead and show you how this works. We're going to need to put a little bit of epoxy on to the actual brass as there's no pin in this one. Um, granted, the outside wheel is not going to be taking nearly as much torque as our inside wheel. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that off camera and then we'll come back and continue on the build. All right, and now that we have glued up our hexes on to our brass couplers, we are going to lock tight the other extensions that we're going to need. So go ahead and do that. I went ahead and figured out the sizes that we're going to need. So overall for this, if you end up buying this and you want to build these exact dually setup, you're going to need one of the long couplers, one of the short couplers, and then one of the um, medium long ones. It's that kind of in between. There's not really a perfect medium. So it's gonna be one of these, one of these, and one of these in order for this to work. So, We've got one put together, but we need to get some Loctite on the threads because we want these to stay together. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I always use blue Loctite for stuff that I'm not certain that I'm gonna enjoy or if I might need to take it apart. All right, got some Loctite in there. Time for the other one. Just a little bit on the threads. That might have been a lot. There we go. All right. So now that that's locked tight, we're going to need to do the same thing to these. So now we have the, the extension with the hex on it, and it's going to go on to the end here, but we need to get some Loctite on that as well. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right. So we have our hex extensions made and we have our tires installed onto the bead locks. So now's the moment of truth. Let's go ahead and install it onto the C10. All right, let's start with the front. It is a tight fit for the hex with these dualies, or these bead locks rather, but they still work. You know what, I realize I'm forgetting the wheel weights. Can't forget those wheel weights. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get that out. Went ahead and got the wheel weights out and we drilled them out a little bit more so they'll fit the stamped steel bead locks. So one thing I learned the uh, nicer bead locks that have the, you know, just the four screws in the back, it obviously makes it so that your standard wheel weights are not going to work in there. But it's all right. We're going to go ahead and use the brass wheel hexes to give just a slight bit of extra weight up front. This rig was a little extremely front heavy anyway, so not a big deal to just remove those weights. So let's go ahead and keep this going. So we went ahead and installed the first front wheel. We put the brass wheel hex on it. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the same to the other side. 
using the brass wheel hex. So we'll take the plastic one off, put the brass one back on. I love that upgrade, it's such a simple little thing to do. Go ahead and grab a wheel, throw that over top, and figure out what I did with the wheel nut. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get the other side installed. All right. Man, that's already looking nice. Look at how beautiful those bead locks are. All right. Now for the fun part, setting up the dually rear. Go ahead and take these old ones off. So I had these millstone wheel weights in the rear. We're gonna go ahead and remove these, put the inner wheel weight in instead, and then maybe use a brass wheel hex as well. Why not? I went ahead and installed the brass wheel weight into the stamp steel beadlock which is going to be the inner wheel for the dualies. Now we're gonna go ahead and put it on and instead of using a uh, wheel nut we're going to use one of our hex couplers that we went ahead and put together. Now I am going to torque that down with a little bit of a, um, probably a set of pliers. All right, got that nice and tight. You can probably see where I'm going with this now. So now we're going to take the outer wheel and slip that on. Oh yeah, look at how great that is. I love just the slight little gap that's in there. That's just perfect. All right, now we'll get our wheel nut on. All right, boom, look at how nice that is. Man, I love it. And the offset puts it out just a slight bit extra. It is just beautiful. Oh man, I am over the moon. I'm considering now that I'm seeing how far out it goes, we might do an extension upgrade in the front. Currently we have the plus four millimeter axle extension but maybe, maybe it's time for the full send plus five. Who knows, maybe we'll try that out sometime in the future. But let's go ahead and get the other side set up and then we'll be done. We'll hit the trail a little bit. There we have it. A dually setup with real bead locks. How cool is that? A little wide in the back, but we'll make do. I like it nonetheless. I think that's pretty awesome, man. Got real bead locks in a dually setup. Freaking awesome. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the build. Let's go ahead and crawl a little bit and then we'll call it a day. All right, now I know this has been a long video, so we'll go ahead and make the test somewhat short, but this is gonna be the first ever trial of the new Dooley setup. Let's get it going.
Boy, those dualies are doing work now. I think last time when I debuted this, you could tell that the dualies weren't doing a whole lot. Granted, I do believe that, that was probably something to do with the tire choice that I went with. They were not the best all-around tires. Now, these ones are a little bigger, so I get a little bit more clearance overall. My goodness, I am loving this. It looks so cool. Oh, just effortless. Uh, come on, come on. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Now, how will the new beadlock dually setup fare against Tumble Peak? Do you think we can do the hard section first try? Let's find out. Look at that, just the new beadlocks doing work. I love this build. How cool is that? And they look so good. I'm pretty happy with this, guys, if you can't tell. Well, I sure hope you guys enjoyed this build video as much as I did. I know I've been anticipating this project for quite some time, and I'm so happy all the components finally came. Well, until next time, I'm sure we're going to do some tweaking to this setup in the future. And uh, probably next week we'll do a full rundown of everything I've done to this rig. Well guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Until next time, happy crawling.